Hi, my name is Ryan Blunder, and in this screencast, I'm going to be taking you through how to install the Sourcegraph browser extension. I'm going to be using Chrome, but we've got versions available for Firefox and Safari as well. Once we've got it installed and configured, we're then going to head over to github.com where you'll see some of the nifty features that this tool has and why you might want it around uh, for your next code review. All right, so with that, let's get into it. So let's install the extension for Chrome now. I'm going to go to Chrome and head to sourcegraph.com. You'll notice that it redirects to aboutsourcegraph.com. This is because sourcegraph.com is actually hosting the Sourcegraph server. So to install the extension, scroll down until you reach the integrations section. Then click on the relevant link, install, and we're done. If I tap on the icon here, you can see that the extension comes configured by adding sourcegraph.com as the primary Sourcegraph server. Okay, so now let's go to GitHub and, uh, and see what it can do. So I'm gonna demonstrate what I think are two of the coolest features. And these are features that you can start using right now today on any repository on GitHub that is publicly accessible. All right, so let's go check out some Golang code from the Kubernetes project. And let's say that I am doing a code review and I'm coming across some code that I haven't seen before. So while the code uh, you know, all looks good, I don't really understand necessarily what these things are. By simply hovering over any, any you know, uh, resource variable, I can get the documentation associated with this. But Sourcegraph is doing all of the hard work for me. While these, these kind of features are what we're used to in our you know, editors or our IDEs, Sourcegraph is awesome because it provides us info where we're looking at source code, say when we're doing a code review. The other killer feature, I think, is go to definition. So if I click on command, now I can tap this and Sourcegraph is gonna take me exactly to where this code is. Pretty cool stuff. So there you go, two pretty cool features that you can start using today on any publicly accessible repository on github.com. Hope you enjoyed the demo and thanks for watching.